We're going to put a 9 here. And we're going for the surface, you guys. Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction and Not Included with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. So, uh, we're picking up exactly where we left off in the last episode. We had just finished uh, building the metal refinery here. So we can start building some new stuff. Uh, also, we're up to, what, 14 duplicates. Stress is 36% and immune systems. Well, there's only one that's really low, and then the rest of them are pretty good, but that's because Gene is right there in the med bed. Which I think we have set to 9, right? Yeah, so somebody should be trying to take care of them. Interesting that these are actually still on the go. Take a look at this. Okay, yep. Yeah. No, we're going to disable these buildings so that the dupes don't spend their time trying to create energy for us. And we're going to have to get them headed towards uh, finding some copper, I mean not copper, coal really quick. Um, we do have this over here. But it's, you know, it's not a lot, uh, and we're down to 1,964 kilograms of it. So it's not going to take long for two coal generators to uh, burn up all that fuel. Where's that water coming from? Okay. And then also up here, I was noticing that the heat is starting to trickle out of this room. So we're going to have to uh, deal with that. What is he doing? Oh, he picked up iron. Okay. Hopefully they, our dupes start going up this way, and... Uh, we can start collecting some of these Weezworts. We'll try and fill, I'll try and put four Weezworts in here and we'll see if we can actually beat back the heat. My experience with heat, it seems like it always wins over cold, but uh, you know, that's more to be seen in the future. Also right here, Colony Lacks Farmer Seasoned. Okay, let's go to jobs, go to our farmer. Oh, great, we only have a rancher. So we're waiting for Liam here to increase. Yeah, he only has two to farming, so. Uh, th this farming station, I should have it here also, where, or we will put one down in here. Um, it, it does help boost the, the growth rate of uh, whatever you have it close to. Uh, in this case, it's Bristle Blossom. So, I'll only use it right here, and then we'll have to put another one down here. And I think we're, we're going to get rid of all this mealwood eventually. Also, I don't know if our water is getting cooled. It doesn't look like it is. Picking up this uh, polluted water, cleaning it, sending it down this pipe, and then out here, blah, 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 and then it makes its way down to right here. Sorry. But it passes these uh, three wheeze wards, which at the moment, they seem to be cooling down the area, but not everything about it, right? Uh, oh, this isn't the perfor perforated uh, plumbing either, which is right here. Radiant liquid here. Pipe carries liquid and encourages significant change in temperature. And, uh, that's insulated. Okay, what does this require? Iron. Okay. Well, maybe we'll just... Yeah, let's deconstruct that. Uh, liquid pipes. Oh, come on. Go here. Construct. Go like that, and then we'll... Uh, We'll redo it with that radiant heat. Hopefully, uh, you know, the Weez Warts can do what they need to do, or we want them to do. Like this. Unfortunately, we can't snake it back too many times. But, we'll see what happens here. Also, let's take a look at our research real quick here. So, what else don't we have going on here? Right there. I noticed that we haven't been using any insulated uh, tiles and that's gonna be that's kind of an issue as you guys can see like heat is seeping in from all over the place um, and we really don't want to do that like even here we should have been using uh, insulated or yeah insulated tiles okay what are we missing 50 kilograms of iron iron Ugh, I'm trying to remember where all our stashes are I think there's iron over here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Get it all. Here, we'll actually go like this. We have our dupes doing a lot of stuff right now, so... Like that. Get them doing that. I don't know how far they're going up here. Let's cancel that one. 
And we'll put in a pneumatic or a manual airlock door. Just because I don't want the cold coming down. And then, oh, okay. So this overflowed. So it's all scorching hot water. Yeah, it's not scorching hot, but it's hot. I know if, I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say I know. But if we can get this kind of under control and all this hot water out of here, this uh, cool steam vent doesn't produce hot, hot water. It's more or less, what are the temperature ratings again? I think it's warm water and hot between those two instead of scorching and molten. It's more or less that it's just been sitting in this hot room for so long that that's why it is what it is. Oops, I want to do that. All right, oops, there's some more water to get rid of. Not too bad, not too bad so far. Uh, we're gonna have to really watch the carbon dioxide or unbreathable gas. And one more there. Okay, so we have one, two of them working. How much algae do we have? Yeah, we have some, not a ton. Okay, so they did mine all that out. Hydrogen's up. And we got all that. So hopefully this radiant... Oh, we, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think uh working, but it is. Okay, just want to see what, this, what happens when we get this all done here. Now, what kind of mine was this again? I mean, gold volcano. Uh, I think we need gold later on. And then our sleet wheat is coming in here. Uh, we're probably going to just like mass produce this. I wish we could pump water into here. Actually, what we should do is... Like this. And for food... Farm tiles are a little bit better than the, the planter boxes. Uh, what's going on here? No power. Ooh, the wire broke, huh? Interesting. And nobody's repairing it. Well, that's life, right? <laughs> we Let's take a look at the dupes available to us. At the moment, we have plenty of food. We could probably go with another dupe. They always want to do stuff that they're not really good at. Let's see the jobs for a second here. Uh, we don't have a gopher. Do to strength, eh? Do that. Go strength. Oh, let's do this guy then. Print him out. And then, jobs. Nothing you're going to be happy with doing. We'll do that. And... Okay, food is fine. Other than that... Okay, hopefully we can get this all under control here. Uh, when I've been playing behind the scenes and stuff, uh, these are called Paku, or the fish. They say you can actually get them to reproduce really, really quickly. So as soon as we can fill this room up with a little bit more water, I'll start putting in a fish feeder. Um, we can't make a fish trap yet, so we can't bring them from somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure what, I guess, food you can make from them. Like, I don't know if it's just automatic, like it's just meat. Pickled meal. Yeah. Must be just meat. I don't know. Let's see here. He'll give us information. Armory element is generic ooze. I know they produce polluted dirt. Alright, it's not telling us here. Okay, well, polluted dirt's still good for our farm, so... You know what else we're missing? Oh, we do have a compost heap there. I'm gonna get everything going. Oh yeah, by the way, these shine bugs eat this stuff right here. This phosphorite, you can uh, refine it and give it to them. That might be another, another thing we're gonna do, but at the moment, I gotta concentrate on getting to coal. So here's something I just figured out, or found out. <laughs> our uh, metal refinery here brings in water for cooling, right? So we hooked up a bunch, or we hooked up the water to it, and I thought for sure it produced polluted dirt. It doesn't. It produces water. So it brings in water and probably produces hot water, but I don't think that would stop us from bringing in hot water and just doing a cycle of hot water, right? So that's something we're probably, we're gonna look into. Um, at the moment, unfortunately I have uh, the clean water. Yeah, it's going through here and then just getting dispersed down into here. But it doesn't seem to, actually this uh, water sieve doesn't seem to be having a, a problem with dispersing the clean water. I remember before, if it, you got like clean water in here, 
it wouldn't work. And then it was kind of the opposite way also with um, other stuff. But it, clearly, you guys can see we're not producing enough water <laughs> down here. So, uh, I don't know what to do. All our guys are kind of busy. Uh, we ran out of coal again. And this is not a good thing. And yeah, honestly, I don't know. I do have some Weezwort in here. Trying to change the water temp or air temperature. It doesn't seem to be working too great. Uh, up here, I have them mining away because down here, I forgot that the, the uh, sleet wheat wants water irrigation. So we have to bring up water. And I figured up here would be the easiest way. Just pump the hot water from here up here. Bring it into the room, let it cool down, and then pump it through, and then down and out, right? That was kind of my idea. But at the moment, if we can't find coal, we're in big trouble. Now we have to enable these buildings so we can get most of our stuff going. And that takes us down three dupes right off the bat. Um, we'll enable this one also, so that's four dupes. I was going to try and change some stuff up here. I don't like how I have the center here. Or everything in the middle. Uh, not that it doesn't work. It's just that I, I wanted to. I want to change it up. I want to put the beds on the side here, um, and then what is it these fire poles? I was gonna put on the inside so that the dupes can slide up and down really quickly. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> we'll see if we even get there because I'm sure the bad air is gonna add up really quickly. Stress is already at 54 percent for just one meep. That's not too bad. Uh, right here, as you guys can see, oh, it is cooling. Well, that's because it's not pumping any water at the moment. Uh, but you can see down here, the water hasn't changed in temperature. It's not really working, even with uh, three Weezwort. It's probably just the size of the room. Uh, if we had like six or seven Weezworts, and then we had this that pipe snaked a lot more, it would not It would probably help a lot more than what it is, as you guys can see. With the water coming in now, it's heating up the pipe very quickly. And the Weezwort can't handle it, really. And so it's coming in. Uh, yeah, let's go like this. This pipe is 29.6 degrees Celsius. And when it comes out, it's 26.6. So we're losing about 3 degrees, which isn't isn't bad, but it's not great either. Um, it'd be nice, I think. Let's go to the temperatures here. Uh, temperate is 19 degrees. So if we could get it like down to 22 or even 20, that'd be awesome. All right, you guys, so everything's gone south on us once again. That's what this game is famous for. Uh, let's look at the CO2, or unbreathable, as you guys can see. It's pretty much everywhere. Power generation isn't good enough. We keep, uh, I have too many things hooked up to one generator. As you guys can see, this is yellow. This is just not yellow at the moment, but it would be. Uh, it flickers on and off. And our food production went downhill really quickly because of the heat. And I believe the heat, the biggest reason for the heat is because of this room right here. As you guys can see, I do have a Weezwort in here now, uh, trying to cool this down. I should have been using uh, the insulated tile here also. We should have been working on that at the very beginning. Um, but I think most of the heat kind of seeped in through this door and then just fell into this area. Because as you guys can see, it kind of goes like this, the heat, at an angle. Uh, and downwards, right? So oh, I think, I know the lights do put off heat, but I don't think they put off that much heat. Uh, so that pretty much stunted the growth of all of our brittle blossoms here, which really stinks. And then as you guys can see, there's just, you know, there's a little bit of heat pouring in all over the place. This whole setup right here just doesn't work. Oops, if you look at the plumbing, it's just all over the place here. Uh, if we survive, we're going to have to start taking some of this stuff and moving it to other areas. Like maybe this uh, metal refinery, we'll just put it in a hot place to begin with. That way we don't really have to worry about the heat on it. But yeah, like oxygen's a huge thing. Uh, and we just keep losing it, right? It just keeps breaking down on us. Uh, or we're running out of algae and I'm just not noticing. Stuff like that. But what I did do is I went up here. I took, <laughs> I put a pump in or a water pump in. I pumped all the water up here through this ice biome and then down and then through all these uh, hydroponic farms and then we got it coming back down over here and I just have it vented right or the liquid vent right here I just want to see if it's actually polluted water that's coming out or if it'll just be clean water and roughly what temperature it's going to be at 
Now it's going to throw us off just a little bit because it'll probably reheat a little bit in this area. But uh, at least we can see what happens right off the bat. So as you guys can see, the water is coming through. Um, this is all insulated piping up until here. And then all this is uh, radiant heat or radiant piping. So this is... Uh, oh yeah, we got to get out of this view to be able to see it. So yeah, the insulated piping is not really going to tell us anything, is it? Gonna tell us what the outside mine yeah. Uh, oh contents are fifty-five point seven degrees Celsius. There we go. And you can see that the piping is taking some damage. Uh, but it is. Contents are dropping to twenty-one, nineteen. No, the contents of the water is dropping. Now why did it stop pumping? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Kinda lost on this one. Why did it stop? Pipe blocked. Okay, does it tell you where it is? Okay, so it must be right here. Oh, cold damage? Alright, so let's go like this. Plumbing. Just X that. Like we might be losing enough heat up here that we don't need all this, and then we can just bring it back in, right? Hopefully, the dupes get on that right away. They're kind of like all over the place, as you guys can see. Uh, our farms are starting to come back a little bit, at least. Uh, see right here, body temperature is a little too much. All right, so everything's it's oh it's over for us, you guys. Um, but we did I did learn something here. First of all, this radiant heating, uh, plumbing. I think we can, at the moment. High capacity heat though, right? Overheat temperature, I'm just gonna stop that. Uh, a bunch of our dupes are dying right now, so. Um, but it says overheat temperature is plus 50 degrees Celsius and high thermal conductivity. So the water was coming through here, as you guys can see, it was creating steam. And we actually had a ton of water. As you can see here, it just drop. And then it dropped down again to here. So we were actually in the ballpark, I guess. Um, we can see if any water actually makes its way all the way through. I don't think it is at the moment. Yeah, at the moment it's not because everything keeps taking damage. And I think it might be just because I used normal liquid piping here. We can see if we can change that. But either way, that radiant heating... Yeah, see, it, uh, it took damage here, so... Take a look at something else. Let's look at the refined. It to a core overheat temperature is plus 50. Thermal reactive. Like I'm wondering if there's one that's like thermal is good. Thermally reactive. Thermally reactive requires energy to raise its temperature and therefore heat and cool quickly. It just doesn't have one. It's like plus 50 degrees, plus 50 degrees, plus 50 degrees, right? There's not one that says, you know, minus. You want something that's good and cold too, right? So we'll yeah, we'll give it a shot. Let's say I don't I'm not hundred percent sure. Like there's nothing I can do with the starvation at the moment. Oh I did have this maxed out. Actually, you know what? Let's just put it on continuous. Until we start getting some food coming in here. Sure, yeah, look at that, right? Out of LJ, just out of the blue. We shouldn't be running out of LJ. Um this thing's going like crazy, right? So not a hundred percent sure what's going on. You know, I almost feel like just since this is probably the end of this <laughs> this one, you know, let's do it like this. We're gonna put a nine here, and we're going for the surface, you guys. All right, so it's just not gonna happen. There's too many lashing; <laughs> they're just lashing out now, stress, vomiting, crying. <laughs> we only have like one dupe that's actually doing his job <laughs> at the moment. So unfortunately, getting to the surface is not gonna be, I guess, possible. Which kind of stinks. Also, I did... Ooh, they did fix it over here. Okay, hold on. Maybe we can get them to fix this. So, the piping here was um, granite. I didn't notice that it was granite. So, I think it might have been granite was our weak link. How that got built, I don't know. Okay, so... Everything seems to be running at the moment. We're not going to be able to run too long. Because they destroyed this. And... What's going on here? Does it say pipe blocked? I don't remember where it said that. Output intakes uh, can run through. We're out of power. 
That's the issue. Let's see if we can't get them to fix it and maybe start it up. I want to see whether or not... I'm pretty sure it's just going to produce clean water. We're definitely producing a lot of polluted water here. But definitely losing a lot of heat right off the bat, which is really nice, actually. Losing that amount of heat. Um, although it's not, you know, it's not being pumped through all that quickly either. Let's see down here. That's not too bad. Uh, too bad we couldn't see the surface, yeah? We're close, but we're not... Yeah, we're not that close, unfortunately. Oh yeah, and this is busted, so... That does it for this colony, you guys. Unfortunately, we were off to a good start. We got to, uh, you know, cycle 111. We're just trying to figure out those last couple of things, and then we should be able to really get going. So <laughs> I'm going to start a new colony. That's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.